we will use the one rel that we need to and we will do log git with the browser we have another control that will move the three oh, controls together just thanks to having a plus node here so we can keep adding more connections to the value of the motion path and we will make two corner controls and the thing to take in account we, this time is we want to keep the upper and the lower lead controls in the same curve so we can move them together um, in the deformation side of the array we will have to create a secondary for the same reason we did in the browse so we have a point that is always in staying between a point we have the side and our control so it's always going to be in between it's never going to go through the first control so having this point and this front point we create curves with the move on top and all these curves are auto banding curves so we don't have to worry about any kind of a tangent and the last thing to do is to create joints that will be with motion path on top of these two curves and this is what we use for the formation and we can see with the mess now that whatever I move the control everything goes up and down and you can always tweak and make that shape different the reason to have both on the same curve is so we can as I said before we can move it up and down together or when we go to the bling we can modify the bling line if we wanted to have this to be lower or higher. Uh, one thing to have in account is the joints I have put on the kind of border of the lid are aiming to the center of the eye where the joints that I put on the second ring are not really aiming they are only on the same constraint to the kind of the orientation of the eye so this will rotate so they will make the border of the eye always to be in a nice line against the eye so when it's higher it still is aiming there and when it's lower it's aiming there but we don't want that to be the same case for this joint this joint just need to be on the same constraint always stable